Good evening folks, welcome to day six of the Brewer's Advent Calendar 2021. Uh, basically, for those not familiar with the beer advent calendars, just like advent calendar you had as a kid, except for it's an adult version whereby you get a beer instead of a chocolate, and that works for me. Alright, day six. Day six, day six. Right, here we go. Day six is up here. And day six is Grantler Hells, Grumpy German Hells. And this is kind of interesting because it seems like my advent calendar is different than a lot of other people who I'm following on the Facebook page. And I believe this was everybody's, well, most people's day one. It seems like here in North America, some of our states and provinces are a little bit different. So this was a lot of people's day one. And I'm looking at the Facebook page and a lot of people... Their day six was actually my day one. So if you're wondering why we're getting a little bit different, that would be the reason. So, Grumpy German Hells. I know my girlfriend's going to say perfect beer for me. Uh, Schloss Bre Brewery. Uh, not getting a lot of information. 4.9% alcohol. But other than that, not getting a lot of information. There is an app. However, the app hasn't been working for me, but... If you want to check it out, by all means, beer tasting app, I believe it is. Yeah, beer tasting app. All right, so I'm going to give my glass a quick cold water rinse. I'm going to use my Pilsner glass. Hells and Pilsner, they're both vloggers. Kind of similar. Light colored as such. And I find them mostly light bodied. And honestly, I'd say one of my favorite styles of beer. All right, so no, nice golden straw color, nice white head, the aroma, nothing out of the ordinary jumping out at me. Hmm, maybe almost like a bready aroma, kind of, sort of, very faint. Big thing is, how does it taste? Tastes delicious. That's how it tastes. I guess I do enjoy lagers more than ales. And in the lager styles, I'd say Pilsner and Hells are probably some of my top ones. Nothing really jumping out on me other than being your, you know, top. They say lagers and ales. Lagers are clean, crisp, and refreshing. And this definitely fits that bill. Easy drinking, I would also add. Um, a little bit of an aftertaste, but it's not overwhelming by any means. I'm not a big fan of beers that have a like, really strong lingering aftertaste. This does have a little bit of an aftertaste, but it's really mild, and it doesn't stay with you long, so I like that. So I have to give it a rating as per usual. My ratings are always out of five with a one being a drain pour. I'm literally going to pour it down the drain. I don't like it that much. A two would be, yeah, I'm not a fan, but I don't want to finish my beer, so I'm going to drink it. Exhalers, I'm not a big fan of throwing away beers. A three would be a good beer, a four would be a very good beer, and a five would be the best beer ever. This one I'm thinking either anywhere from 3.5 to 4.5. And if you... A regular viewer, you know that, you know, that's a damn good rating in my, my views. Um, I think I'm going to go with the 4.0. The only thing is stopping, stop me from going to 4.5 would be that little bit of lingering aftertaste. Not a lot, and it's not overwhelming, it's not bad, but that's kind of... It, I only give full ratings and half ratings. If I did quarter ratings, I think I'd go 4.25, so I'd say a strong 4.0. But I want to have another taste just to make sure. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the 4.0 for the Grantler Hells, Grumpy German Hells. So there you go, folks. Hopefully you can join me tomorrow. We'll uh, hit the calendar again and see what's behind. Door number seven. 
Until next group, as always, enjoy responsibly. Cheers.